Oh, hey, it's you. I'm Sal, your friend. We have just successfully finished our first season on my other channel, Salvidora. Now that it's all wrapped up, we prepared something new. This time, it's about you. We're gonna be talking about anything under the sun. Love, dating, relationships, spirituality. So I hope you join me in my new set, my other channel, and I'll see you there. Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. Let's do it! <laughs> let's do so, Freaking hyper over here. Come down, come down, come down. Okay, I'm always excited when you love what you do and it loves you back. Okay, at least it does love me back. <laughs> How are you? Well, if you want to know who loves you more than ever, make sure you are in my meetup because I want to see you there. There are tickets right there. If you're in Los Angeles, please, please, please take the front seat because there's no seat after that, okay? So the tickets is right there. Um, uh, what else? I think that's it. Make sure you're always watching the, if it hits you, it's you. It's a new, um, you know, craze in town. That's what everybody's talking about and everybody who's not talking about it should be talking about it. I'll see you there. Now let's begin here for my Tauruses. Tauruses, let's see here. Excited. Okay, let's see here. Let me see here. Here we go, Taurus. Let's see. It's up with the Taurus. Quiet are we? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Page of Swords. Quiet because he's talking someone. <laughs> It's right here. What, what? It's quiet because, well, if they're quiet, you know, and vice versa. But I was, um, you know, picking up your energy. I, I always say, if they ain't talking, they stalking. Mm. But of course, it takes two to tango. Tun -tun 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 -tun. Should I talk or shouldn't I talk? And yeah, that's a two of, that's a page of swords, two of swords. Maybe you're deciding right now. Mm-hmm. That's that one. Now, this energy um, with you regards to, how to say this, um, wanting to initiate communication, I feel like, you know, it's like this is the Page of Swords, um, it's gad it gathers data. That's why it's, you know, it's known as a stalker card because it gathers information. Um, it tries to figure things out. You're learning. It's like, all right, this is what this person is doing. This isn't that. Okay, before you go for it. That's the Page of Swords. That's why... This energy also requires um, long, I mean, like, as far as, like, patience before they talk. Because when they talk, they, their patients always think that they already gathered enough data. But sometimes it also winds up in a place where you shouldn't have been Snoop Dogg. Okay? That's a page of swords. Yes? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Temperance. All okay. right. Someone wants to come home also. Either you're visiting home. Mm -hmm. um, page of Swords with a Temperance. You, you're, trying, uh, you're trying to figure out um, how you feel if you really love this person. It can be a Sag. It can be a Leo. 
can be cancer. You're really trying to look at it where is this a person that I can love and be with? Of course, you're trying to be patient. You're trying to, okay. Because you're trying to marry the cup over there. Mm -hmm. You're trying. With temperance, um, this is you and the other person. I mean, you guys love each other here mm -hmm. with the temperance. You guys have that feelings. Mm -hmm. Let me see. But yeah, there you go. There's a proposal. Hmm. Hierophant with the temperance. You want to be with this person. I, I feel like the Hierophant hasn't come up. I mean, I think there's one or two reads that the Hierophant came in. So this is about a proposal to one. You guys have been dating already. You know, the structure is there. The foundation is there. The love is there now. So the only thing left is really just to talk more about this. Because these are major arcana, which means energetically everything is happening already. It's in the works. You will feel it. You will know about it. This is some, you can also be wanting to talk to someone and tell them it's a truce. You understand their perspective and they understand you. I mean, I feel, I feel like these are both mutual energy. Then, then chances are both of you are just watching each other right now. And this is, the, 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 the higher friend is about speaking of truth. So either you or this person wants to speak the truth now and ready to talk about it. I told you so. Because they're going to be together at home. Mm. Do that. Four of Wands. So both of you wants to talk about these feelings now. And even talk about the connection. That's very positive right there. Sorry guys. Let's see on the side of this. Hmm. Ten of Wands. I mean the Four of Wands energy here shows that um, the connection between the two of you is very stable. If it's a reconciliation, I feel like it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, just this one, okay. And this is action. This is stability in the connection. I told you, both of you know that um, this can be worked out. It's almost like you guys are coming out of a very rough patch. Happiness right here with the Three of Cups. Celebration. Oh. Is the patch. You guys saw it. Normally there's a surprise, right? But now you guys see it right away. <laughs> it's like, normally, ooh! And then I put, but now, no more surprise. You see it right here. <laughs> so, of course, this honesty is here. Seven of Swords, number seven in the partnership. It, there was, I mean, with the Three of Swords here, I'm not sure what you're going to find out now. Okay, so that's, that's something you shouldn't have looked at. That's what it said. It's like, this is, this is fine. But if it's a reconciliation, of course, there was a breakup because of this situation here. The sneakiness. Truth is coming out from both ends. Someone got found out whatever this person has been lying. It can be a person who's, you know, first, the lie is like they don't want to reconcile. They're going to lie about it. No, I don't want to be together. I don't want to work this out. Lie, 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 reconcile. Lie, 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 reconcile. Because they're happy with you. And here, they're, escape, they're trying to escape the truth. And I feel like this is the, their true feelings that they're trying to escape. This marriage and partnership. Six of Pentacles. Both of you will work this out. Do the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is when relationship gets in the rocky side. And then kind of still figuring out. It's just like, okay, well, I'm not sure anymore. Mm -hmm. I, you know. This is, because this is immature. Both of you are acting on this stage. Both of you can want to reconcile over here, but still not being honest with why. Why do you want to be back? And then, you know, applies to both uh, scenarios. Mm -hmm. Someone here keeps denying, okay, that they want this with you. Because this is the Two of Cups also. I don't know why 
it's almost like they just sabotage the connection for no reason. Like, that's how they do with the relationship. Self-sabotaging. Someone here will sabotage a relationship because they have their dreams. Like, they want to pursue other dreams. Like, they have big goals. And for them, that's their priority. You know, they want to they want to chase their dreams. That's what I'm feeling here. More than, you know, being in a partnership. They would feel like the partnership will restrict them from going after it. Even this person feels like, well, I can't be with my friends if I'm in a relationship. So that's one thing. They like association networks. They like that. So they sneak out of a relationship. And now they're questioning their mind at the same time. You guys need to make a decision because it's number three. So this is a decision. Uh, our choice is our third house. So it's time for you to make a decision. This relationship will be on hold and on delay, number six. Someone's health also is going to be a focus, stability of the health. Someone can, you know, probably doesn't, doesn't, is not eating good. Your health will suffer. Okay, you don't need a reader for that. Okay, please eat the food pyramid. But now I think it's inverted. Okay, or like this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna continue this reading, guys. Trouble in paradise, but I feel like it's gonna be resolved. It's something minor. I'm not, you know, like I'm not bothered by this. Not at all. I feel like it's it's gonna be fine. We'll see in the other side more further about the seven of swords that came out of nowhere. Um, it's gonna the truth is coming out. Thank you very much guys for watching. Link down there for the extended reading. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. Can be this person was all about their coins, all about their work. Nine of Cups. Cha chasing basically either spirituality or they want to travel more. Someone starts, someone needs to start now. This King of Swords needs to make already the move.